welcome back to Home Shred. We're doing workout 12 today. It's a circuit workout. I'm gonna show you six different exercises and we're gonna be using a Swiss ball and one pair of dumbbells. So get your equipment out, get ready, and let's start the workout. So I want you to take a seat on your Swiss ball, grab your pair of dumbbells, make sure that you're seated on the front of the ball and then you're gonna roll down all the way until your neck is supported like this. Okay, hold the dumbbells right over your shoulders and then you're gonna press up here and then slowly lower down. Press up and together, touch the dumbbells in the middle and then slowly lower a wide stretch in your chest. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 reps here. Let's start the set, here goes. One, and press up. Two, press up. This exercise should be fine even for beginners, so there is no beginner modification on this one. You could just use lighter set of dumbbells if it feels too heavy. <laughs> Kyla, come back. <laughs> okay, give me 10 more here. Let's focus. Let's focus. Nine. I want you to exhale on the way up. Eight. Keep your core tight. Seven. Six. If you didn't have the ball, you could just lay on the ground and do this. Good. Five. Four. Really flex your muscles. Three. Two, and the last one. Good. Again, make sure that you're not doing the death grip on those dumbbells. Your hands should be pretty relaxed and it's your muscles that are flexing. So I hope that's clear in all these dumbbell exercises all the time. Okay. So take as long of a rest break as you need. You can grab water right now or you can follow me and go immediately into the next exercise. We're gonna stay on the ball, very similar position. So don't stand up just yet. Put your dumbbells on your hips and then roll down until your butt touches the ground. So you're gonna hold onto the dumbbells with your hands just so they don't fall. And you're gonna press your hips up and do a hip thrust here, all the way to the top, and then slowly lower back down, tap the ground and go up for a dumbbell hip thrust, okay? Up, tap the ground, press, tap the ground, press. Good, so keep going So we get a set of 20. That's five. Six, seven, just relax your neck. Eight, nine, give me 10 more. Good, squeeze your booty muscles. Seven, six, five, four, Three, give me two more really good butt squeezes. Two, last one, up, boom. Awesome work. Okay, very good. You should be feeling that in your butt. So leave your equipment where it is and I want you to walk around to the back side now and you're gonna get into a kneeling position, knees on the ground and lower your hips onto the ball, grab the dumbbells and straighten your legs. So now you're in this hip supported plank position we're gonna be doing renegade rows. So hold a good grip on those dumbbells. You're gonna pull one up all the way to your rib cage or towards your armpit, put it back down, and then do the other side. Up and down. Good. Up and down. So 20 reps is 10 on each side. This is my third one. And four, five, six, keep going, seven, Eight, nine, give me 10 more. Keep your neck in a neutral position. Good, five, keep exhaling every time you pull up. Exhale right there. And three, and two, Last one. Okay, awesome. Come back down to your knees and roll off the ball. So this next exercise, I'm just gonna have you grab one of your weights and leave the other one down on the ground. You'll take a seat on the ball and bring your knees together. Hold the dumbbell with two hands and you're gonna lower it down to your right hip, okay? So 
touching the ball on the right side of you. You should be in a twisted position with your chest upright. No rounding forward like this. Stay nice and tall and twist to the side. You'll lift the dumbbell up over your head right here and then slowly lower back down to tap that side of the ball. So keep going for 10 and tap nine, eight. Use your core muscles here every time you twist and lift. You should be feeling your core and your arms. And six, five, breathe and focus, four, three, two, get that last one. Okay, rest your arms for just a second and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So rotating to the left now and go 10 more. And nine. Eight, seven, six, five. If this feels too hard, beginners can bend their elbows and do this version right here. That would be the beginner mod. But try and get that twist because that's going to work your core a lot more. And two, one. Awesome. Really good work. Okay, take as long of a rest period as you need. And when you're ready, we're gonna go into the incline dumbbell fly. So grab both of your dumbbells again, put your butt on the front of the ball, and then you're gonna walk down until your butt's almost resting on the ground and you're leaning back, okay? So start with the dumbbells at the top. So they should be just over your forehead and we're gonna fly open like this. So stretch the dumbbells nice and wide, feel that stretch across your chest and then lift and squeeze together. So walk down like even farther so you can rest your neck because you don't want any tension in your neck here. So relax on the ball so you can really focus on your arms and chest. Start the set now. Go 20 and up, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, you can bend your elbows just a little bit at the bottom, but try to keep your arms mostly straight. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Breathe deep here, come on, 7, exhale up. Inhale down. Me those last five. Give me perfect reps. Come on, four, three, two, last one. Good, okay, roll back and set the dumbbells down on the ground. So for our last exercise, I want you to actually turn around and face the other way. If you have a wall to prop your ball up against, that's the best thing that'll help you stabilize. You can do this without the wall, but if you can just get yourself close to a wall, that's gonna help you a lot. Beginner modification, you wouldn't even use the ball. You just leave your feet on the ground and do a bridge. But I'm gonna do the version with the feet on the ball because I like that extra elevation and instability. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells, press them up just directly over your shoulders. You'll lift your hips and then lower the dumbbells down towards your shoulders and then <laughs> lift them up. Okay, so just right here, we're doing a tricep extension, holding that bridge position the whole time. So turn your butt muscles on, flex, and being at a decline like this helps you target your triceps a little more. Good, so that's four. Up, squeeze it. Five. Six. Oh, you eating dirt? <laughs> She's eating dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, ten, watch out baby, eleven, hi, <laughs> yeah, twelve, hello, <laughs> what's the matter, thirteen, fourteen, hey, you have dirt in your mouth, fifteen, sixteen, keep your butt up, if, if you notice your butt is losing it, 17, watch out baby, you're right in my way. I got two more reps, can you move? Can you? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, the dirt on this girl. Okay, last rep. I'm gonna squeeze it out right there. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> the extra challenge of being a mom. You have to do your reps all crooked. <laughs> Okay guys, that is it for the first round of the circuit, but now is our chance to go through those exercises one more time and really do them well. So right back to the top, I wanna stand up and we'll get into that bench press. <laughs> All right, round two, here goes. Starting with that bench press. I'm gonna move a little quicker through the exercises now, um, taking less rest periods to make the workout more challenging, but you can always pause the video if you need to. Okay, bench press, here we go, 20 reps. 20. Just focus on your breath. Keep that butt lifted. Halfway point, give me 10 more. And nine. Eight, focus on your muscles here, come on. Seven, six, check your face. If your eyebrows are all crunched and you've got that stressful look on your face, let it go, relax. Four, three, two, one more, last one. Yes, okay, good. Staying here, I'm just gonna lower my hips down to the ground. Rest those com dumbbells comfortably below my hip bones and scoot down so the neck is supported. And we're going right into hip thrust. So here goes, lift up, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Good, you wanna really exhale deep at the top there and fire up your butt muscles. Dig your heels hard into the ground. Come on, 12. Use the ground to push away. And 10. We got nine more, stay with me. Eight. Good, all your focus on your butt muscles right now. Seven, six, five, Make sure no rest at the bottom, just tap and go. Come on, four, squeeze at the top. Three, two, last one, get it good. Nice, okay, <laughs> come on down. We're gonna move into that renegade row, so setting your dumbbells up and then flipping over so that your hips are down on the ball and you're in this like push-up, supported push-up position. Actually, for this round, I'm gonna show you the advance would be to do, to remove the ball. So, let me get the ball out of the way. If you're advanced and you wanna take it up a notch, is just do the renegade row without the hip support, okay? So, dumbbells close together. You've seen this exercise before. You're gonna pull up and no rotation. Now, removing the ball is gonna make your core work a lot harder. So, this is only if you want the advanced round. You can stick with the ball if this is too challenging. Good, seven, eight, nine, give me 10 more, halfway point. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one. Awesome. Okay, good, let me get that Swiss ball back. Okay, get your ball in your position. I'm actually gonna show you from the back side now so you can see how my torso is rotating. We're gonna do that wood chop, seated wood chop. So I'll show you from this angle. I'm gonna start with the right side again. So down to the right and up. Down to the right and up. I want you to actually look over your right shoulder to help you twist further. Because if you keep your head this way, you won't get as much of a chest twist. You know, I want your whole torso to turn to the side. Good. So give me six more. And five. 
Work to keep those arms as straight as you can. Four, but if you need to bend, go ahead. Three, two, one. Okay, short rest period. Lower the dumbbells, shake out your neck and shoulders. We're gonna go 10 to the other side. Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, turn your whole torso. Come on, three, keep your legs steady where they are. Make sure your knees aren't moving too much. Two, and one. Okay, awesome. Moving on to our dumbbell incline fly. I want you to sit down on the front of the ball and roll until you're in that incline position and try to support your head with that ball. Holding those dumbbells straight up over your chest, but just slightly off the ground, you're gonna start your flies. So open all the way and close tight. 20 reps, that's two, three. I'm running into my table here. Okay, four, five. Bend your elbows just a little bit at the bottom. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway point. Get ten more. Squeeze. Nine, eight, seven. It helps if you actually like press the dumbbells into each other at the top you'll get much more of a muscle flex just by doing that little bit of a push. Four, push together, come on, three, and two, last one here. Good, okay, lower the dumbbells and just leave them where they are and you're gonna change your body position around the other way. So sixth and final exercise, we're gonna go into that tricep extension Scoot your butt really close to that ball and lay down flat and lift your feet up onto the ball, holding those dumbbells directly over your shoulders. We're gonna press up into our bridge and here we go. Last exercise, 20 reps. 20, 19, 18, good. Check your finger grip, can you wiggle your fingers? That's a good sign you're not doing the death grip. 16, 15, 14, 13. The key to training with weights is to put the stress where you want it and not where you don't want it. Like your neck and your fingers shouldn't be the things that are tense here. Should be your triceps, your butt, and your core. Good, last 10, and nine. Keep that butt lifted, come on, eight. Seven, six, take your time, no rushing. Five, four. If you can't get all the way down to the ground, then just go halfway down. Three, like you could just stop right here and go back up. Two, but I love full range of motion. I love to see you guys train full range. Okay, good. Dumbbells down. Your workout is complete for the day. Good job, baby kite. Good job, baby. Come here. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, guys, thank you so much for training with me again today. As always, I want you to do your stretch and cool down now. So don't just quit your workout and move on with your day. Spend at least five minutes stretching out tight muscles. I also would love to see you having your post-workout shake like I showed you in the last home tried workout. What I have post-workout, that's what I'm about to go blend up right now. So, you can get 10% off your protein supplement by using my link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys at the next home tried workout. Thanks and keep living lean.